What the fuck? Freedom Day is here, February 1, in honor of Lincoln's freeing the slaves. But, oh, what really happened on that day? Seems just like they found another loophole on how to enslave. Why have one debtor when you can have thousands? Oh, yes, what a Merlin trick this has been. Heads still spin today on this Freedom Click. Some just beg to be chipped, so it's 3 2 one contact in the land of Freedom Oil Slicks. Mulligan Stew, where a flower meets a blaster, and the only real choice that is given is just which disaster. Lincoln freed you to be dumb. Take it from this mathematician, one degree shy of a magician. I stayed here and now a slave of many masters. We are so many, so make no mistake. Never talk to the jakes. Use your minds to escape. Impending disasters are likely fake. Why would I deny you the view from atop this beautiful cake? Such an amazing time and place. Put a kiss for me on the face of beautiful liberty. Till we meet again, I'm Deja Vu. Hey guys, victory over Decepticons. Deja B here. Real Neo, Brian Thornton. Just thought I would give it a, a quick Saturday update that the Cannabus arrived Friday 9-16-2016 in uh, Standing Rock. And uh, they're there uh, rendering aid and support and solidarity. So just wanted to put that out there and let everybody know that it's pretty daggone groovy. To have made it for them, for the team. So uh, give them a big thumbs up over on Facebooker. I'll put the link in the description. And if the link doesn't work, just uh, Facebook search Stacy Thais, T H E I S, and look for the big green bus. Anyway, victory over Decepticons. One love. Our government has been destroying our resources, our lands. 524 years now. Um, unfortunately, the earth does not have her own voice and she cannot stand up for herself. So it's our job to give her that voice and speak up and say no more. I want you all to know that this is not a protest. This is a prayer gathering. This started back in February and April of this year. 567 federally recognized tribes in the United States that the United States agreed agreed in treaties to protect us and our land they don't understand that what they're doing now is good for them but down the road they're ruining millions millions and literally millions of lives if you like drinking water, you should be supporting this, and especially if you are a North Carolina resident looking at places like the Dan River Asheville and all of these events that are basically related to company neglect because they because of greed, really. You all know that I don't care how many people say that this is more safe technology, that the risk is minimal. Folks, they leak. 
We have been destroying and polluting Mother Earth for hundreds of years for what? And as our community, obviously all of the people that have come here joining us together, it's showing that we are not going to be walked all over and that we're going to fight for what's right. At some point you got to start thinking about people's lives instead of your own pocket. I mean it, it, sh it should be a really obvious thing right but it's, it's just not. It's not a native issue, it's not an African American issue, it's not a Caucasian issue, it's a human being issue. I just hope in North Dakota that we are able to stop this pipeline and keep the oil in the soil and um, just send a message to everyone in the world that our government is deliberately destroying sacred burial grounds and there's a reason that it's not in the media because they don't want people to know and so I would really like for this to blow up and spread and let everyone know this is the government that we are living under. They have brought out attack dogs on us. Folks, we haven't seen this since the Civil Rights Movement of the 1960s. This is 2016 and they used those dogs this past weekend on our people. There are no weapons when you go into Sacred Stone Camp. You have families there. This past weekend, we had over 7,000 people at Sacred Stone Camp, which is more people than the 12th largest town in North Dakota. We are now a community, a community of people, not just native people. now of an oil pipeline spill in Alabama that will end up costing many of you at the gas pump. Look at the pond that appears to be full of gasoline and has turned completely brown. Colonial Pipeline, which provided the pictures, says there's also oil there. Both Alabama and Georgia have now declared a state of emergency. That leak is expected to cause gas shortages and price hikes all along the East Coast next week. Later this morning, our Money Talks correspondent Maribel Aber will join me to tell you just how high you should anticipate those price hikes being. Thank you. The, the century of central banking was also the century of total war.